Hi, I'm John Sinclair. For the past 44 years I've been the leading advocate to protect the outstanding universal value of Fraser Island. The first major battle for my organisation, the Fraser Island Defenders Organisation, was stopping the most destructive sand mining industry. That fierce campaign lasted for six years, but in the end we won. The next battle was the getting World Heritage recognition for this amazing natural wonderland, and it was even tougher, and that battle lasted for the next 14 years. The problem was stopping the logging industry which had become entrenched over the previous century. While Fido is still involved in advocacy, especially managing Fraser Island tourism to make it sustainable, we've had to dramatically change our tactics to ensure that the natural integrity of the world's greatest sand island is preserved. Simply gaining a title of National Park and World Heritage doesn't in itself remove threats to the integrity. On Fraser Island, there are many insidious threats that resource-starved government agencies can't manage on their own. The threat from invasive species, particularly alien weeds, is a major threat to the stunning natural forests. The few small urban settlements are centres of most major weed infestations. Most weeds are garden escapees. It is important to control these weeds before they escape into the surrounding national park, where control becomes more difficult or impossible to control. FIDO is now actively engaging volunteers from all around Australia to help control these threats to the natural integrity. It has developed collaborations with the park services, local government, local landholders, the tourist industry, and other agencies to reduce and eliminate introduced weeds. Fraser Island's outstanding natural beauty and recreational opportunities attract about 350,000 visitors annually, almost all travelling by four-wheel drive vehicles. FIDA estimates that in heavy rainfall events, this causes about one tonne of sand for each visitor to the island to be sluiced on slopes, some of it ending up in some of the iconic perch dune lakes. Fido is engaged in a long-term project attempting to measure the full impacts of this four-wheel drive activity. Faro believes that it is important to change the patterns of recreation on Fraser Island to rely much less on four-wheel drives. With other voluntary conservation groups and with the support of the Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service, we are actively extending the existing walking track system on Fraser Island. We are also championing a light rail paper mover to the island to stop sand disturbance on the roads. The new walking track infrastructure includes high car overnight shelters. When it, is in, when it is complete, because of the attractiveness of the features encountered, Fraser Island's subtropical climate and conditions conducive to walking at any time of the year, it is confidently expected that the George Haddock track will become Australia's most popular long distance walk. Apart from action in the field, we have used volunteers to help Fido stage Benayu Fraser Island conferences and assist in hosting a team of international peat specialists to study the unique ferns of Fraser Island. These, along with our regular informative backgrounders, are helping provide a wider public appreciation of the island's outstanding universal value. Fido believes that volunteers increase their commitment to Fraser Island through working on their projects. Thus, while advocates become volunteers because of their commitment, volunteers can also become advocates as a result of their first-hand experiences and increased commitment. Volunteering has facets that assist and improve park management in many ways.